Hello everyone, so let's see some comics, talk about them, uh, and let's start with a comeback, a reinforcement, because this is getting, becoming to, it's becoming scarce in the market, so we're trying to buy it while we still can, and this is East of West, The Apocalypse, Year 3. There are three books. And look at the thickness of this, so it's a very, very big story, a very big series by Jonathan Hickman, uh, drawings by Dragota, and colors by Martin, uh, I think it's the colors. Uh, for you who don't know, because this is sealed and I'm not going to open it, uh, I can show you a bit of the art here. Yeah, Frank Martin does the colors. Um, so this is a sci-fi, punkish uh, kind of comic with supernatural, these, these are the, the Knights of the Apocalypse being rebirthed. Uh, there's a secret society uh, that's trying to take control of the world. Uh, there's a, a rogue uh, knight here, uh, all in white, that's seeking... Uh, things that were taken from him uh, that's enough to say I won't I won't talk much about about the, the book I just want you to get the feel by looking at it because I've already talked about about the book you can check the, the channel for for some info this is how it looks uh, and you can expect the excellent writing of Jonathan Hickman and a, a very rich environment by Dragota uh, yeah, saying it right. Um, yeah, so you've got political intrigue, you've got revenge, search for uh, search for power, search for the past, uh, emotional trying to find emotional links in the past, uh, revelations that come. Uh, at a slow pace uh, yeah it's got all the ingredients to keep you hooked uh, and the artwork is great at least for my taste I find it excellent yeah so but this is just a restock it's nothing new uh, let's start with things new yet old uh, so as we, you might have noticed, we love Greg Rucka and Queen and Country uh, has been receiving this these definitive edition uh, editions <laughs> which compile a lot of the trades uh, in, a, in a rel relatively thick volumes like mini omnibus uh, and so Queen and Country is a, a series of, of espionage, uh, it won awards, let me just read you what, what it says here, so Queen and Country, the Eisner Award winning and critically lauded espionage series from acclaimed novelist and comic book author Greg Rucka, uh, Mr. Greg Rucka, is back in a new series of massive soft covers. Uh, in this first collection, readers are introduced to the thrilling and oftentimes devastating world of international espionage as SIS field agent Tara Chase is sent all over the world in service to her queen and country. Meanwhile, director of operations Paul Croker walks a narrow, tight rope between his loyalty to his people and the political masters that must be served. So this is black and white, just like manga, but not quite, uh, it doesn't feel like manga, it feels more like comic strips than, than manga, if I was to to say uh, any comment about the, the, the artwork, but as you can see it is, it is interesting. Uh, still, uh, I expect the greatness of the book to be mostly in the story, because it's Greg Rucka telling it, uh, and I love espionage and murder mystery uh, noir uh, so um, I'm deemed to like this a lot this, uh, this is a classic that I've been 
wanting to read for a long time. Let's see if I get time to do it. Uh, yeah, Queen and Country. Then we got here some behind the scenes, sketches, rough sketches, little... Yeah, I saw this guy there. Yeah, that's it. So, this is just volume 1, of course. Uh, because we want to know better before we get the whole collection. We wanted to see how the book looked like, if the construction, etc. And I'm pleased, it's a very fine trade paperback, uh, given the, the size that it has. It, it, the, the thickness that it has, it's it's well well built. Then uh, another baby that was meant to be here much sooner, but rather rather uh, later than ever. And it's Dracula Mother Ucker <laughs> to read just like it says. So about this, this is what Kurt Busiek has to say about it. Moody and Alice Sunatori with Breakneck Momentum, an amazing art showcase. So the artwork is by, uh, where was she, what's her name? Erica Henderson. The story is by Alex Campi. So uh, what it says here in the summary is Vienna, 1889, Dracula's Brides nail him to the bottom of his coffin. Then we jump to Los Angeles, 1974. Uh, an aging starlet decides to raise the stakes. Crime scene photographer Quincy Harker has the proof, but will anyone believe him before he gets his very own chalk outline? And are Dracula's three brides here to help Quincy or use him as bait? A pulpy pulse pound, pounding graphic novel of California's psych horror from master of modern exploitation Alex de Campi, which you might know from Grindhouse, No Mercy, Bad Girls, and artist Erica Henderson from Assassin Nation and Squirrel Girl. Uh, let's take a look at the art because it's not just illustration. It's what it's those kinds of illustrations that uh, have some artistic touch to it. Uh, it blends it blends uh, comics with with uh, with actual art. I think. Look at this. The, the colors, the composition, it's super. Uh, yeah, it's a very different book. A very, it has a very unique uh, appeal, a very distinctive artwork. So at least, at least from that, uh, the bet is win already, because it really stands out. Uh, though being very modern, a very modern book, it doesn't follow the. The streamline convention, the mainstream conventions. Look at this. It's very, very, very interesting artwork. Like this, for example. You don't see this. This silhouette in a weird color, contrasting with the, with the background. Yeah, this is got has got some uh, innovative approaches to story graphic storytelling. That's that's for sure. Yeah, very curious about about this title. Uh, must confess that I am. Then we've got some extras here, talking about how it was made. Yeah, it's got some little extras, and the paper is very good. The whole build, the whole build of the book is excellent. Uh, Image also knows how to do uh, small trade paperbacks and, and uh, also small hardcovers and big hardcovers. Uh, they're just like Dark Horse, they don't save on paper uh, nor quality. So, yeah, this is Dracula Mother Ucker, Ucker by Alex de Campi and Erica Henderson. Uh, I'm not saying the year the release. The year of the re release, but, it, but this this came out 2020. Uh, it doesn't even say what. It's in the end. It's in the end. Oh, and it's readable. Thank God. October 2020, and it collects what was this one uh, one shot? I'm not sure. It seems so because it doesn't say. Yeah. 
yeah. Okay, next in line, Snapdragon. So this is a YA title and don't get scared just yet uh, because this book has been given a lot of praise. It's a small book, so let me just zoom a little bit. Uh, it's a very small yet uh, well-built uh, little book. It's from first second, so uh, you kind of get the vibe that it, that it that it has because first second does a lot of YA, uh, but tries to do it uh, in such a way that adults can read it and have fun with them too. So, so Snap's town has a witch. Snap is this is the uh, the main character. Um, at least that's the rumor. In reality, Jax is just a Crocs-wearing, internet-savvy old lady who sells the skeletons of roadkill online. It's creepy, sure, but Snap thinks it's kind of cool too. So Snap needs a favor from this old woman, though, so she begins helping Jax with her strange work. Snap gets to know her and realizes that Jax may in fact have real magic. And, unlike, and an unlikely connection to Snap's family past. Okay, let's take a look at the art. By looking at the cover, I think you won't be surprised. It's that kind of cartoonish, more like art. The paper is super thick too. Uh, you, you can be sure that it will stand time. But as you can see from the artwork, it's... Uh, it's made to attract, uh, to be a, uh, appealing to younger audiences too. They didn't want to exclude them from this book. Uh, quite the opposite. But I think the art is good enough to be satisfying for, for us adults too. Uh, at least I've seen um, lots of of uh, grown-ups and guys who have read more than I can read in two lives and talking very very good about this book and about the, the, the story that is being told here. Let's just leaf through a little bit. It's a, it's a thicky book, uh, don't be fooled by its uh, small size and height because it's uh, You've got, there's 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 much to read here and to see. Okay, this is Snapdragon. If you don't know about it, go go surf the web the web and find something uh, about it, and you'll see that you'll find mostly positive things uh, about it. Next, one big name that uh, we love here at Deviant Fun, Rick Remender. Uh, pairing up with Tokini here. Uh, this is Low, volume one, volume 1, The Delirium of Hope. This is nothing too um, very new. Uh, in fact, oh no, small prints. Let me get it closer to my eyes. 2017, this is the third printing, June 2017. Um, so this this takes place as Remender likes to in a world that is deeply changed. Uh, so he likes to put his artists to the test uh, and and recreate the world we know, or even create worlds from scratch. Uh, so what we know here is that in the far distant future, the sun's premature expansion has irradiated Earth and it, that sent humanity to the lowest depths of the sea to protect themselves from the, from the sun. Hidden within radiation-shielded cities, while probes scour the universe for inhabitable worlds, after tens of thousands of years, a single probe returns it crashes on Earth's surface, and a now alien uh, place, uh, where no human, no, that no human has seen for millennia. Uh, now, Stelkane and her husband Joel, the last helmsman on the once great city of Salus, must rise from the depths of mankind's despair 
and journey to the surface in search of salvation. Uh, so Greg Tocchini and Rick Remender have already uh, collaborated b before they did this. Uh, Greg Tocchini is responsible for the art in Last Days of American Crime and Kenny X Force, where Rick Remender also wrote. Uh, Black Science for Rick Remender, Deadly Glass, uh, Seven to Eternity, but not with Tokini there. Uh, so let's see if Tokini's work uh, lives up to the expectation. Okay, I don't know if Tokini is doing the colors because I'm about to color assistant okay maybe there's the colors but he has an assistant to help him Marianne Guzmão uh, but this first page has got some color on it wow incredible low yeah I'm totally digging the artwork also uh, very modern but uh, a little bit unconventional without not as unconventional as Dracula mother <laughs> uh, but uh, but yeah it still has a very very distinctive touch love this love 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 This is an incredible medium, right guys? Incredible medium. We get to see art in great stories. It's it's incredible to join the two things. Okay, it's got some sex, so be aware of that. Don't let your children read this. Yeah, I think I don't need to see more to be convinced it looks uh, very sci-fi uh, since it's it's supposed to be happening uh, way way in the future so uh, expect to see things that don't exist now technology landscapes uh, even perhaps uh, the social habits must be very different uh, I'm curious to know what is acceptable and considered to be mundane in this uh, deranged world. Yeah, the art is awesome. Awesome. With just almost one variation of, of a color. Look at what what is done here in, the, in these two pages. Incredible. Yeah. That's Low by Rick Remender and Tokini. Now let's go to something more mainstream, Marvel. So uh, very recently, I think it was December 2020, uh, if I'm not mistaken, uh, I think I saw it somewhere. Um, Following the line of Dawn of X, uh, there was this uh, mini series by Zadarsky and Terry Dodson, uh, where the X Men were opposed to the Fantastic Four for X. Uh, so let me read what it says here. So every non mutant lives on Professor X, newly forged island paradise of Krakoa, as you know if you've been reading Dawn of X except for one, and now the X-Men feel that it's time for Franklin Richards to come home. There's only one problem, what does his fantastic family have to say about that? As lines are drawn, the X-Men face down the Fantastic Four, and nothing will ever be the same. In this brave new dawn of X, Charles Xavier and his fellow mutants have reshaped the world, but you can't change a world without encountering its true master, Doom. Now, with the fate of the nation of Krakow at stake, Franklin faces a momentous decision, and the X-Men and the Fantastic Four must fight to save the future. Lines will be crossed, enemies will be made, and the Marvel Universe will be turned on its ear, like in every Marvel book. Uh, yeah, 
that's me making fun of Marvel. Yeah, you you got you got that well. Uh, so let's take a look at the art. Uh, yeah, it's that standardized modern looking art that you get from Marvel. Uh, not surprising, not very artistic, still good art, very competent, but uh, very st stylized, right? Uh, standardized, let's say. Uh, but yeah, I'm 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 into seeing the X Men against the Fantastic Four. I'm on it. I want to see that. You probably just want to read this after reading Dawn of X, and it's got Doom. Yeah, I was forgetting to mention that. Best Marvel villain, right? Forget Thanos. I like Magneto a lot too, but nowadays you can't even tell clearly if he's uh, <laughs> an evil guy or a middle evil guy. Yeah, I, I wish I could tell you a bit about the story, but I haven't read it. And I'll probably postpone it uh, to after I finish reading Dawn of X. Uh, though I imagine you can read this um, separately. Of course, it certainly helps to know what Krakoa is, what is the, the status quo of, uh, of the mutant community before you read this. But I imagine that even without knowing that, it's probably understandable. Uh, wow, great artwork here. And it's not colored and still it shines like hell. Very good. Very impressed. Now, something uh, that was recommended by one of you. You know who you are. This is a beautifully crafted book. With rounded corners, that's always a, a, a beautiful touch, right? And the texture here is like a can of, like if it was a can of sardines, which which the cover does make me remind of uh, ancient uh, cans of sardines, Portuguese sardines. It's got some uh, some highlights here too. The cover is super soft. This is a great crafted edition. Uh, and it's by Lupano uh, and illustrations by Panaccioni. And uh, the particularity of this book is that this is a story told with no, although it says written by Wilfred Lupano, well, he, he just imagined the story because it was Gregory Panaccioni that did bring it to life. Uh, uh, it's it's all all you get to see is 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 um, is uh, Panaccioni's work uh, expressing what Lupano wanted to transmit here, but you don't see the words from from uh, Lupano because there's no words. So what does it say here? An old fisherman is lost at sea. His dotting wife waits dutifully for him to return. A cavalcade of mishaps leads, lead him further across the ocean and an image in a pancake leads his wife on a daring madcap adventure to save him. So I'm curious about what, what the hell, uh, how the hell does a, a, an image in a pancake uh, lead, lead his wife to, <laughs> to go in a rescue mission? Uh, that's something I'm curious about. From the imagination of celebrated author Wilfred Lupano and illustrator Gregory Panaccioni comes a wordless, hilarious and heartwarming tale of outlandish misfortune, incredible happenstance and ultimately love. Yeah, so let's take a look at the beautiful art because uh, 
the book you've seen it's beautiful all these engravements and such it's incredibly incredibly beautiful so here it is this is from 2018 by the way printed in China there's, there's lots of books being printed in China China is taking is taking uh, uh, also the world of comic printing let's just I'll skip some pages as so that we can get different vibes look at this at these illustrations by night by the sea when the sun is getting set yeah this is this is one another one uh, another book where art meets meets comics media uh, there are certain panels that you can call they could be paintings right like this beautifully illustrated beautifully illustrated and from what I'm told, the story is super, super, super. So it's uh, it's it's got a great synergy between artist and uh, and the storyteller. This is a very beautiful book. And in case you're doubting. They didn't. Uh, they didn't go sheep on the paper. This is a great edition. I'm so curious. Look at this. This is a painting, right? It just happens to be in a comic. I'm so curious to seeing this. I was going to say reading this, but it's not actually reading. Because uh, it looks so great, every page is, is delightful. Look at this, so simple yet so beautiful. Wow, thank you for the tip. You know who you are. Thank you so much because the book is beautiful. Uh, that's the word, that's the word for it. So, yeah, we've reached. Um, I, I've reached the end. That's all I wanted to show you. Uh, these books are still not in the in the online store. That's something for me to do uh, probably now after this video, if I still have energy because it's rather late. Um, but yeah, that's this is actually the latest patch, but not it won't be the latest patch in the. Um, in the month we're already expecting another shipment a little bit larger than this and uh, yeah let's see what what the future holds because I'm not going to tell you of course uh, and there's also books that we receive by surprise because they're they're ordered but they take some time to get here because they come from the United States and as you know uh, there are fewer flights now so there's lots of cargo coming by ship and so yeah things take take more time to to get here they have to cross the atlantic uh on diesel you get you get the, the idea uh okay so deviant fun you you know where you can find us www.deviantfun.biz you can buy these well uh, not yet, but <laughs> you will. Uh, you can buy this and many, many other books. And if you're, we're talking about ordering, we're talking about ordering virtually any book. Uh, and uh, if you're looking for something that is giving you a headache to find messages, because we might be able to help you as we've helped other people before without uh, going into your pockets deep into your pockets i mean of course we'll have to go into your pockets uh, that's part of the business right um 
And if you like these videos, please like them, subscribe to the channel if you're interested in seeing the, this kind of, of info, seeing reviews and live-throughs, uh, and hit the bell for notifications, uh, why not? Um, otherwise, you can just follow us on Facebook and Instagram, for example, uh, if you're more a social media person. Um, these videos all end up there but if you visit our YouTube channel you'll be surprised with the amount of content it's hundreds of videos I'm not I'm not uh, uh, exaggerating it's really hundreds almost I think half a thousand by by now maybe um, okay so that's it stay safe Finally, the lockdown is going down slowly here in Portugal. I don't know how, how it's happening in your countries. Hope uh, that you, you are also regaining your, your freedom, uh, uh, even if slowly. Uh, and until the next video, uh, stay well, stay safe, have happy reads and deviant fun out in 3, 2 and 1, 0. Bye bye.